For this spooky SFX stitched up look, you're going to want to start with a clean face. And then for products, I'm going to be using the Mayron Makeup 3D Gel, also the liquid latex in the shade Light Flesh, some coagulated blood, and some stage blood, and I'm also going to be using one of their Paradise Makeup AQ face palettes. For the open eye wound, I want to protect my brow, so I'm just picking up a Elmer's glue stick and just gluing those down so they're flat. I always like to lather up quite a bit of glue onto my brows and then smooth it out with a glue stick and then using a spoolie or some sort of brow brush, I flatten those out and make sure there are no hairs coming through. And make sure if you are gluing down your brows that you are very gentle as this is around the eye area and it is more delicate. Then picking up the 3D gel and a spatula, and also if this is a product that you're new to, you want to heat it up in the microwave for a couple seconds to loosen up the product, but make sure you are testing it on the back of your hand because you don't want to apply hot product to your face. So first, I'm just sort of building up the open scar area, and then using the spatula, I am flattening it out and trying to blend it into my skin. And I am trying to build up the product that is like at the opening of the wound. You can make this as gnarly as you want to. I'm just focusing on building up those walls so that I can stitch through it. And again, if you are using this product closer to your eye area, just be careful not to get any product on your eye. Or if you do want it to be more like closed over your eye, then make sure you are using the proper precautions to protect your eye. I really love using this 3D gel because it is so easy to work with and it's really realistic, but it does dry down kind of fast, but I actually really like that whenever I'm doing a super gnarly, just gory look like this because when it does start to dry, it gets really sticky and thick. So I like scraping that off of my spatula and then just applying that to make the wound look really nasty. <laughs> And then to continue to build up the walls of the open wound and also to provide some more texture and depth, I am picking up some strips of cotton and laying those down onto the sticky 3D gel and then going over top with some liquid latex. And then once that 3D gel and liquid latex is dry, I'm going over top with some translucent powder to remove any shine. Now I'm applying some bronzer and also some highlight to the areas of my face that are still exposed. Now picking up that Mayron water activated paint palette, I am using the red and going into the open parts of the wounds and laying down that first color. I'm also going to be going in with some black mixed with brown and red to create some more depth within the open raw part of the wounds. So I'm just picking up a really pigmented amount of that paint and then I'm also wiping off my brush, wetting it a little bit, and then just blending those colors together. A lot of people would just paint the open part of the wound black, but I feel like adding this variation makes the wound look a little bit more realistic and that's what raw mangled flesh looks like. Anytime I want to master an SFX uh, look, I always do lots of research and just imagine what it would look like in real life. Now I'm just going to apply some everyday makeup to the eye that is not wounded. And then to add some irritation to the skin, I am picking up the Morphe and James Charles Artistry Palette. Whenever I'm doing a SFX makeup look, I work from the ground up, basically from the uh, outside in. So first, of course, if one would have a wound like this, you would see signs of irritation in the skin. And then as you're going uh, closer and closer to the open wound, you would see darker colors, uh, blood, of course. So I'm just starting with those lighter oranges and rust colors and blending those out onto the skin that does not have any 3G, 3D gel excuse me, <laughs> um, on it. And then I'm going in with the deeper reds closer to the open part of the wound. And then to highlight some of the texture and depth in those uh, scar wounds, 
I am picking up the Mehron face paint palette again and just using some red on a really thin liner paintbrush and then blending it out with some water. And this is how the wounds look prior to applying the stitches and the blood. And I'm actually going to do that off camera because I needed to really focus to not poke myself in the eye or anything or damage my skin. And for some final touches, I'm adding some lipstick and some blood splatter. And here is the finished look. Vicious.